my name's Phil Kerry. I'm the senior um, oil painting restorer for Asta, the art charity. Um, and we've got a, a lovely oil painting from the 1800s that's just come in. And I thought I'd take you through how to assess it. Um, so I think we'll, uh, we'll get on and take a look at it, shall we? It was painted in the 1870s uh, by an artist called C.M. Serus. It's oil on canvas, it's a beautiful mountain scene with figures and animals to the foreground. Uh, in module one, I'd just like to take you through how to um, uh, assess it. The first thing is um, to try and understand if it's authentic before you waste a load of time on it. Um, it's signed, and that's a plus, but is it authentic? Does everything look old? Does it look right about it? Uh, there's clearly a little bit of damage on the canvas, and I want to talk through that with you shortly. But let's just turn it around, take a look at the back, shall we? Okay, so this is the back of it. Um, this is the, the frame, the principal frame is here. Looks fairly old to me. Um, <coughs> no signs of woodworm or anything like that, so that's great. This is the inner frame, or the tightening frame, uh, which looks, again, fairly old to me. All these wedges uh, are in, so there's no wedges missing. And in fact, it's been quite well trimmed up, so in fact, uh, uh, it's quite tight, so everything looks okay on the back. Okay, so yeah, everything looks okay on the back, um, and the canvas looks old as well. So it's not like we're being hoodwinked, and it's actually a modern Hong Kong type painting um, on new canvas. It's obviously you know pretty old, so I think we can we can um, uh, accept that it's authentic. Okay. Right, this is the darkest place I can find. I'm just going to do a light test on it now to see where the holes are. And with a little bit of luck, you'll see one, two, small one there, three, four. Okay. And then, um, yeah, we've got a slight, slight scratch down here, but I don't think it's quite a hole. Is that something there? Yeah, looks like it. And then something down here. At the bottom, there seems to be a couple of problems. You can just see the light there. Yeah. Okay. So it seems that we have about four quite big holes. I'll get it back on the actually big bench now. Okay, this is the edge of the canvas that actually fixes it to the inner frame. Um, sometimes these get a little bit weak, a little bit brittle, uh, and they're not really fit for purpose. I think we might just get away with this one. The worst scenario is, um, if it has rotted away, uh, is that you have to um, extend by two or three inches uh, all the outer part of the actual um, canvas, uh, so you can actually put a, bring a new one round, okay? And as you can see, if I just move this up slightly, yeah. You can see just here, you know, where it may not be reliable as a fixing, uh, but we'll have to see. And of course the worst thing is that it means bringing all the nails out, um, ironing it all flat, um, uh, literally um, connecting to it the extension with wax, uh, and then you literally refix it. But it's quite a big job. So I hope, fingers crossed, that we won't have to do that. Okay, looking at the bottom, towards the bottom of the painting, we seem to have a couple of what I would call scratch marks and quite a bad rip, okay? So there's one, two, three there. Fortunately, um, the inner frame, which would probably go to more or less where I'm pressing to now with my finger, as you can see it, uh, that is the width of the, of the frame, um, okay, to which the canvas is attached. Um, it looks like these two minor 
uh, items of damage here can be restored without stripping off the frame, which is great news. If, for example, uh, the, the bigger rip was within the frame, it's definitely, you know, a, um, a, a come off the, the, the wood scenario. Okay, so there's three items there. I've got a slight fabric tear just here. It looks like it hasn't been completely um, cut, um, so it's still holding on together. We might actually put a small patch on that and, and save it as it is, okay? Right, part way up this tree, it looks like something's actually impressed into it, tearing the canvas. Again, fortunately, Everything seems to be present, so it's just a bit of you know um, a bit of a patch there, I think, and then uh, uh, building it back up again. Okay, it would be far worse if if that whole area was actually missing. Um, so we're quite lucky there. We can actually iron that back, patch it up, and uh, and bring it back to back up to scratch. Okay, right up the top, we seem to have quite a bad what might have been a dent that's actually torn the canvas there okay so we've got one there we've got a smaller one and we'll probably treat that with the same patch L looks like a little bit of paint's come off here in little else uh, that is a very very tiny one there okay so what have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine areas to address otherwise it's fairly sound okay uh, there are no um, bubbles on it or other dents that I can see and something else to look out for is any earlier damage or previous damage and I don't see any at all there's no if you like badly patched up repairs um, so I'm quite pleased with that there is quite a lot of varnish on the surface of the canvas and um, that's dirted over time clearly so uh, I think it wants a little clean as well, slight clean. It's very, very difficult to patch up paintwork without cleaning it anyway, so it's just something that needs to be done. It's another laborious job, uh, but it should look a lot brighter for it at the end, uh, and it will give us the ability to actually patch up uh, with fresh paint. Okay, so otherwise, she's a beautiful painting. Thanks for watching.